Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt and today I'm going to be bringing you another video. Today we're going to be talking about the area down there. We're going to be talking about my favorite boxer briefs that I've tried and tested and used every single day. Let's get into the video. Now, sometimes I feel that like underwear boxer briefs are sometimes like the most overlooked area that is in your wardrobe. Since it's something that no one's seeing, I mean, nobody. God, God, that's cringy. It's something that just gets overlooked all the time. When you look at an outfit, you're never gonna see that. You're never gonna comment on an Instagram being like, hey, what underwear are you wearing today? Question mark, question mark, question mark. You're never gonna do that. You're never gonna see anybody doing that. What made me think of this video is that I've gone through different points in my life where I was just like, hey, what's the best one? And someone will recommend like a $40 pair or like a $20 pair. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm not spending 20 to $40 on this because what if I fall in love with it, you know? So that's where I thought I'd make this video kind of talking about different brands I feel like are more worth the price rather than just like best now full disclaimer on this video is I'm not sponsored by any of these brands in this video I have bought all these with my own money blah 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 and just a disclaimer for anything I'm not doing on bodies for any of these I'll leave that up to your imagination so yeah. and also with that that everybody's body type fits differently for me I do have bigger legs I need a little bit more room for my legs than most people so most of the stuff that you see it'll be stretchy it'll be comfortable it'll be something you can wear all day under skinny jeans and not get like many lines and yeah let's kick it off with number one which is Calvin Klein now it's probably one of the most popular underwear brands due to like their like photo shoots when you have somebody like Justin Bieber or when you have someone like Shawn Mendes wearing them but, but for me Calvin Klein is definitely one of the top ones for me I actually wear a lot of just this normal 95% cotton 5% spandex every single day with normal Calvin Klein these are pretty much just like my dailies I wear them almost all the time um, if I'm not rotating it through some of these other pairs, these will be my dailies. I actually buy them from Costco. They're around three pairs for $15, so around $5 a pair. It's not going to be as cheap as like a Hanes, which is going to be like five pairs for $10. It's around $2 a pair. These are going to be a little bit pricier, but immediately when you go up to something like this which costs slightly more you're gonna notice that it just starts to feel a little bit better it gets a little bit more comfortable these aren't the most airy these are more just like your daily boxer brief that kind of just holds everything together isn't gonna ride up isn't gonna ride down it's just like a perfect fit and it's like a good kind of like gateway drug to all this now saying this as well they also have like a modal pair at Costco that I picked up I think it was like three pairs for $20 so a little bit more expensive than that around $7 a little bit less than that these ones I don't tend to find that I like them as much although some people rave about them but for me I feel that for modal there's a little bit better options on the market than the Calvin Klein ones so one of my new favorite brands is actually a brand called richer poor the R so these ones right here are a 95% cotton 5% spandex it is a trunk style so it's just not gonna be as long it's just gonna be short sweet to the point it has um, a richer poor tag on the back and then just an R in the front so I bought these at a warehouse sale so I bought five pairs for around thirty dollars it's around six dollars a pair about in line with what we've been seeing from Calvin Klein but the overall quality of these I found have been so good I actually tend to like these to wear more they actually hold everything together down there and they don't write up but I think what's really great about these versus some of the Calvin Klein's is that some of the Calvin's can have a little bit bad quality and I feel that the the elastic strap around here isn't that great whereas the richer poor ones have a little bit better strap on them a little bit thicker but tends to hold the shape a little bit better from what i'm seeing and they also have their modal one which i tend to like a little bit better than the calvin klein's it tends to just feel a little bit better it uses a better strap than the calvin's do and i think the richer poor ones are just slightly softer overall on both fronts than the calvin klein's so if you're in between one of the two and you've only reached just find a video, my favorite brand on this list is Richer Poor. Although the accessibility of finding Richer Poor on the low end isn't that great, whereas finding Calvin Klein on the low end is a little bit better. Costco makes it super easy. Now getting to a brand that almost just started my love of higher quality boxer briefs in general is a brand called Pair of Thieves. Now Pair of Thieves, I've seen, I see them a lot in Target. That's where I first saw them. 
I went crazy buying probably a little too many pairs. I bought a lot of the sport ones. They're a little bit more air mesh. I found these all in Target. That's where I find, kind of found this brand, Richard Poor. So they actually come in three different styles from what I've seen. They come in a short, more spandexy style, like polyamide or something like that. They have a longer trunk, which in my opinion, these two are really good for working out. They're probably the best ones I've found. They keep everything nice and cool. I tend to not wear them day to day as much as I used to because I find that the Richard Poor ones are a little bit better. And when I started switching to my Calvins, I started to really like how they felt every day versus something like this, which is a little bit more sporty. And a pair of these also has just like a normal boxer brief style, which is 47% modal, 47% cotton, and 6% spandex. Um, which gives it like a kind of almost weird feel to it and just to show you the pair of thieves have like a slightly lower rise in the richer poor i actually tend to prefer the richer poor because of that over the pair of thieves but both are still good kind of comes up to personal preference on that if you prefer a shorter rise and a little bit closer I think pair of these would do you well. If you're looking for something that's a little bit higher rise, I think the rich and poor one would do you really well. But the good part about pair of these and what I found with the brand is that you can actually find these on clearance for around $3. You might not get all the different like colors you might want. You might not find the designs you want, but all of these are like kind of different designs, different styles. And I found them all like $3 on sale. I think these are my cheapest ones on the list that I have. And just to get into one last brand on the list, I find is really good a little bit lower cost from where I'm able to find them is a brand called Unda. Now this pair is modal is 95% modal 5% spandex I tend to not wear them all the time I tend to only like to wear modal when I just want a little bit more airy a little bit lighter underneath a quick thing is that like a cotton I feel like it's better for an everyday wear a modal will be better for more luxurious wear planning on going out that night to a club or something a modal one might be a better option for you than the cotton but if you're just going to work every day you're just trying to be comfortable i think a cotton one's fine pretty much personal preference i try out both see what you like i like the endus because they're a little bit longer than the other pairs on this list and for someone like me who's a little bit taller a little bit thighs it tends to fit perfectly so yeah this is some of my favorites on the list by price to quality i would probably always pick a rich poor one over a calvin klein it's going based off accessibility and finding stuff for around five to six dollars i would go for calvin's and don't be afraid to experiment you can always buy like one pair and see if you like them if you don't you can always wear them until they burn out or you some places take returns i haven't tried like me undies or any other brand like that for me personally i've never spent over twenty dollars i don't even think it's been over like twelve dollars for a pair but yeah, let me know your thoughts are in the comments below if you want to see more comparison videos like this on this kind of stuff not everybody likes to talk about please let me know in the comments below and like i leave every video here please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video